I've said this, and for those hotel workers and people that get tips, you're going to be very happy. Because when I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips, people making tips. We're not going to do it, and we're going to do that right away. First thing in office. Okay, so that's a, that's a big, big policy proposal from Trump. He's going to end taxation on tips and he's gonna do it on day one. The list of the first things he's gonna do when he gets in office is now like 100 things long. And also he can't do that on day one, they have to pass an actual bill or whatever. But this is something that he is suddenly really excited about. And I know that because I've never heard him talk about this before. He goes to Nevada where there are a lot of people who work on tips. And now his social media is filled with references to this thing that he has, he has thought about for a long time and will definitely do if he gets into office, that's good. He's, he's tweeting about it or truthing about it saying, I am the only candidate who has ever called for delivering relief to our wonderful capital S service workers by not taxing their tips. It was my idea that capital T tips should not be taxed and only I will get it done and do it immediately upon my return to the White House. Crooked Joe Biden has taken the totally opposite approach, trying to tax more and more of their tips. That's literally just a lie. That's that's not a reference to anything. Even hiring 88,000 IRS agents to collect. Yes, because that's what they were hired for, auditing restaurant workers. Oh No, it's not the billionaire lying about how the IRS can now potentially do the complex work of sifting through all of their tax evasion. You, regular working Joes should be worried about the fact that billionaires will no longer be able to get away with all of their fraud. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. He ends this by saying Trump keeps his promises. But he promises made promises, but you did you, you just said you're going to do this. You haven't done it. Like you have to do it before you can say promises made, promises kept. And by the way, like maybe some more specifics. If this is a thing that you totally didn't just think of the day of that rally opportunistically to try to win Nevada, we'll give us some specifics. This is what we can get from a spokesperson. President Trump will ask Congress to eliminate taxes on tips. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I was a tipped worker. They do they do tax your tips, which is why the vast majority of tipped workers don't report anything like all of them, but yep. but sure, that would be potentially a good idea. It's just a little bit convenient for Trump now to be like, I'm the guy that can get it done. Nobody else is thinking about it. I will remind you all. They passed effectively one bill during his first term, and it was a tax bill. So why wasn't this in there? I guess they were just too busy cutting taxes for the wealthiest people in the country and slashing corporate taxes effectively in half. There was there was just no time left. They ran out of paper in the printer to put the uh, tipped workers thing in there, Francesca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going back and he's he's writing just like a little asterisk, you know, just like a little, you know, writing it in in the jelly off the crumb of the massive cake that he gave to the the wealthy in this country, just like and. No taxing on tips. Let me just write that in some jelly. Boop, it's gonna wash off in a little bit. Like this is so like to celebrate this as some kind of win. Obviously, it hasn't even been done yet, or some kind of like, you know, something that will elevate the working class. Why not raise the minimum wage? You <laughs> miserly, miserable millionaire. Like, just nope. do that. It would help a whole lot. Or eliminate the tipped wage and actually give restaurant workers raises all around. Um, and then you people wouldn't have to rely on tips. I know that can be controversial in some circles, but I think it's really important to remember that yes, he's in Nevada. He is in Vegas, which is notorious for a lot of different things, obviously uh, slot machines, partying, and massive labor wins, specifically yeah. with restaurant workers and hotel workers who decide to work together across franchises, across hotels, um, and, and fight for when one person goes on strike, they all go on strike. When one union strikes, they all go on strike. One hotel uh, um, franchise goes on strike, they all go on strike because they know that this town runs onto the service industry. And so yeah. like, yeah, eliminating, like that's that's like you're saying, a lot of them aren't reporting the majority of their tipped wages anyway. If you want to do something that actually attracts working people in Nevada, 
say raise the minimum wage. Talk yeah. about, you know, Except like they'll never ever do that. No. Ever, ever do that. Talk because about the union power. You know, exactly. Well, they, they would perceive that that would hurt businesses, whereas uh, eliminating the tax, I guess, just hurts the government. So from their point of view, I guess it's easy to do. Oh, and he's probably not gonna do it. I'm not gonna say that he definitely won't do this because they are going to cut taxes again on the wealthiest people in the world. So maybe when they do that in 2025, they could throw this in as a bone. So there's some chance at least that it'll be done. And if they do it, then the tipped workers will get 0.0001% of the benefit coming from that tax cut bill. And the rest of it will go to the wealthiest people in the world. So again, yeah, it's just he's just trying to win Nevada. That's it. He he's found a thing that he thinks would work, and that's fine. You know, Joe Biden could theoretically do this. There's literally no reason why only Trump could do this. Although I would say that if Biden tried to do it right now, the Republicans would definitely kill it. They would not allow it to be passed. So, and also, if you're out there thinking about potentially putting like your voting behind Republicans because you believe that as a result of this they have your interest. Bear in mind, Republicans right now are working to block 4 million workers from getting overtime protections. Yep. It just const, constantly, they're screwing over workers. Like if this successfully distracts you from that reality, that is unfortunately very sad. They're, um, but they're I, so, yeah, they are so anti worker. Um, it, it's, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, they, uh, this is, this is the least of their concerns, right? I mean, they don't, this is so minor. They really yeah. like, like I don't understand how Republicans think they're gonna win on any of this. Well, I mean, I would say it would be a little bit easier to make the comparison if the Democrats had actually raised the minimum wage when they came into power. They didn't, unfortunately, people like Curse of Cinema, you know, stop that from happening. But wouldn't that be a great contrast to make? Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.